Welcome to Together We Read, our 40 day Bible reading for Lent. The Gospel of John does not start with the birth and childhood of Jesus. Instead, it begins with Jesus' divinity and work on earth, so that we can understand the incarnated Son of God from an eternal perspective. Let us continue our 40 day Bible reading plan by listening to scripture taken from John 1, 1 through 18. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made, without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, To those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. John testified concerning him. He cried out, saying, This is the one I spoke about when I said, He who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Out of his fullness, we have all received grace in place of grace already given. For the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God but the one and only Son, who is himself God and is in closest relationship with the Father, has made him known. When we follow Christ, His light not only penetrates our darkness, but also illuminates our lives with guidance. Indeed, we become children of light in a darkened world. Ask yourself, what are the dark areas in my life? Bring these areas to Christ and let the light of Christ shine in.